recipe is in my cookbook, 99 Ninja Foodie Recipes, and you can get a copy on my website, which is www.susannaskitchen.uk. Hi everybody, today's recipe is a chicken pie. Oh, love chicken pie, but I haven't shown you how I make one in the Ninja. It's really, really easy. I'm gonna be using some leftover cooked chicken, but of course you can make this with raw chicken as well, and I will tell you how you can do that. I've got a great pie dish that was recommended to me, so that is gonna be used in this video, and I've linked that down below for you, and it's just an Amazon product, and it is really lovely. This is a really easy recipe. You won't have any problems making this one. So it's gonna contain chicken, leek, and bacon, which is my favorite combo for a pie other than I really do like a beef one as well. I hope you enjoy this recipe, I'm sure you will. If you do, hit the like button. And also, if you're new here, then my name is Susanna, and please do feel free to subscribe down below. Now let's start cooking. Let's get the ninja on. We're gonna start baking a lovely pie. So I'm gonna use my rack here, and I have covered the base of my dish here with some puff pastry. Now this is shop bought puff pastry. I don't want this to puff up too much. So I'm gonna line that with a little bit of parchment paper. And then I have got some baking beans here that you can get in most cookware places. If you don't have them, use some rice. That works really well. I invested in these many, many years ago because obviously I do a lot of cooking. Let's lower that in to the Ninja, like that. So I'm making this the same way as I would in the oven. So I'm gonna put this on to bake, 180, around 15 minutes. So I set it for 15, but that's had 10, and I'm pretty happy with that. That just shows how much quicker the Ninja is. So I'm gonna stop now empty the baking beans and we can work on the filling. Now we've removed that, I've got the Ninja on sear and saute. We're gonna make the filling, fill the pie, top the pie, bake it, hey presto, done. Easy as that. I've got 200 grams of chopped up bacon here. That is sizzling as soon as I put that in, which is great. Now this is obviously going to be cooked in the pie, but I like to crispen up my bacon beforehand. Render off the fat, obviously it's going to add loads of flavour. So let's get this cooked and get a little bit crispy. Oh my goodness, I've turned the heat down, I added more oil, look at the bottom of the Ninja. I mean, clearly there's some sort of issue here, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This frustrates me every time. I don't know why I just don't put it in a frying pan and save all of this hassle. This is how annoyed I am with this tonight. Please let me know, leave me a comment. Is everybody else finding the same problem? If I put it on really low, it does nothing. If I put it up on say four, which is what I had it on, it just literally is just charring the bottom and doing zero to the bacon. Then the fat isn't rendered down, it wasn't crispy. Um, it had oil on it. And obviously I don't wanna keep adding loads of oil to my food. That defeats the object really, doesn't it? So I have removed those um, pieces of bacon and now I've got my leeks in here. I've just turned the heat down. I can't believe how cross I am about that. I just feel like you should be able to use the Ninja for the whole process. That's the whole point, the whole idea of it. And it's just not happening. So I've added a little bit of butter in with my leeks. I need a little bit of spray oil as well. So that is now in there. I'm going to add some salt to my leeks as well. Not too much because obviously we've got the bacon in the pie, which is going to be salty and some black pepper to those leeks, lovely. I'm literally gonna make the whole filling now in this pan because I just don't see the point in going back to the Ninja. I'm gonna bake it in the Ninja and I hope yours doesn't do the same and you can actually make your sauce and your filling in the Ninja, but 
for me it's just not working but the crazy thing is i've just cleaned the pot and it's not like it's burnt on it's just stuck there's just so much stuck to it and charred to it anyway i need to get over that and stop moaning don't i so let's carry on with the cooking of this chicken pie because it's going to be delicious it's going to be delicious right so i'm turning the heat down further because we've got a little bit of a charred edge to those leeks which i like but now i want to just purely soften those and that means turning the heat right right down to the leeks i'm going to add some garlic granules not loads maybe a quarter of a teaspoon some dried thyme again probably around a quarter of a teaspoon and i'm going to add a bay leaf as well just getting this prepped for everything else that's going to go in here because this is sort of our flavor carrier our base and it smells really nice I'm pretty happy with my leeks now. They are nicely softened. You can see how much they have really reduced down. So back in with the bacon. Oh, lovely and crispy now. Look at that. I've got my cooked chicken breast. If you wanted to use uncooked chicken, what I would do is I would make everything in the Ninja. Hopefully it's not sticking. And then I would um, put it on to pressure cook on high for six minutes with a quick release. That would then cook the chicken, all your vegetables. You could then add harder veg, like um, things like carrots as well at that point, because the pressure cooking is then going to really soften those. And so that is a way that you can do it if you prefer. So let's just combine all of this together. We've got loads of filling here. This is going to be a jam-packed pie which is what we like I'm now going to add my chicken stock I've got 200 milliliters here if I need some more then I can just make up a little bit more I'm going to add in around half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard so that's going to give a lovely flavor to this I definitely think I'm going to need a little bit more chicken stock so I'm going to add in another 50 ml. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and see. Obviously, we don't want to make this too runny. I've got corn flour at the ready in case we need to thicken the sauce at all. But I'm thinking a little bit of cream in this will be really super tasty. Let's add a little bit of cream. Doesn't need to be a lot. Sometimes it just changes that consistency. And makes a really beautiful rich pie filling it smells absolutely gorgeous you know a little bit of extra stock has helped and i think that's all it needed so i'm just going to leave that to simmer just for a moment so i've added a little bit of a corn flour slurry which is a tablespoon of corn flour three tablespoons of water, mix it together, make sure there's no lumps and then add it in. And look, you can see the consistency now of that sauce is that much thicker. And that is exactly as I want it. This is perfect for me for a pie filling. Just got to find that bay leaf and remove that before we fill our pie. So we've got our partially cooked base here. We've done that so we don't get a soggy bottom or we hope we don't get a soggy bottom because nobody likes that. So now I'm just going to spoon in our pie filling. Oh, this looks great. I absolutely adore a chicken pie. I think I'm probably gonna have too much filling for the size of the pie. I'm not worried about that though. I can always use that up, don't you worry. Let's just get in as much as we can though. I like a really full pie. There's nothing worse when you buy one in the supermarket and it's got nothing in it. That angers me. <laughs> I've been quite angry this video, haven't I? I'm angry with Ninja now because of the sear and saute. I need to chill. Right. That looks good. I think that's about as much as I can get in there, really. 
maybe one more bit of chicken there. Let's not waste any of this chicken. Do you know what? It's probably going to be a disaster because I've overfilled it, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Last few bits of bacon and chicken going in. Literally, I've used all of that up. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Now we have our top. And I just need to sit that over the pie and pull off the parchment. Okay, so I'm going to crimp the edges the best I can and we can cut off any excess. Obviously, the bottom part is cooked, so it's not really crimping it into it as such. This was just one roll of puff pastry and what I did is I um, rolled it a little bit thinner to be able to do a base and a top. Probably in an ideal world you want two rolls so that it's that bit thicker but it's up to you. That's how I ended up doing it today. So it's very rustic as always with my cooking. Let's put a couple like this of little holes in there. That just allows any steam to release. And I'm going to egg wash the top because we want a really nice glaze on this. Thinking about it, maybe I should have egg washed the top of the base so that the, the lid then stuck to it. But, you know, we're going with it. We should be okay. I think we are done. Let's lower that into the Ninja and get that cooking lid down and we're going to be back on to bake again 180 i think around 20 minutes could be done quicker i will keep an eye on it 15 to 20 i'm guessing this has had 15 minutes and i think that is done enough so let's get it out i'm serving this with some new potatoes i've got a little bit of butter and parsley on those and some nice petit pois to go with our pie. So let's dish up some of this pie. Oh, we've got a really nice crispy crust. Oh, look at this. Let's see if we can dig in and scoop that out. Mm. Look at that pie. 